everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Yumi Brown of Yumi Kershology and today's tutorial is Little Girl's Bandana and it has a dress to, to match up with this little hair piece. So if you like my content that talks about crochet and styling our crochet pieces, don't forget to smash that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. So these are the things that we will be needing for this tutorial. We need a yarn, a color of your choosing and this is 100% cotton and a hook this is 3.75 millimeter hook or letter f fabric glue scissors and your favorite stitch markers i have here my harry potter so the tutorial for this one is separate please refer in the card above or in the description box below for the tutorial of this circle or the sunburst or the flower this one here is kind of like a half triangle granny square. We need that for our bandana. We need at least four of this one and I'll show you how to make this one. So first things off, we will start with the yellow yarn or the color you chose to be in the middle or in the center. And make a magic circle and in the circle we will be working inside the circle. So chain one, two, and then make six double crochet into the circle. Your chain of two is considered as a double crochet. So that's one, two, three, and six. So six double crochet into the magic circle and your chain of two is considered as a double crochet. So that's seven all in all. And you have to hold the tail to close off your magic circle. So you should have a fun looking work right now. Okay, it's like a half um, circle. So now we will change our yarn into color white and secure the yarn and we will be working on the white one. So insert your hook and make a chain of two. One and two. Turn your work and in between the posts or two double crochets from the previous round you have to insert your hook there. Okay, so we're not working in the stitches but instead between the posts and make a double crochet together. So that's two and three. Double crochet together is when you stop midway before you pull the yarn through. You should have four yarns in your hook before you pull it through. And that's what it looks like. Again, chain of two, one and two. In between the two double crochets from the previous round, insert your hook there and make a double crochet together. So that's one, stop midway. Insert your hook again, two, and three and you should have four yarns in your hook right now and wrap your yarn and pull it through till the end and I'll meet you at the end of this row so I'm in here at the end of this row I'll just have to make a few double crochets together so that's one two and three And wrap your yarn and pull it through till the end. Again, chain of two. And in between the last two posts or two double crochets from the previous round, insert your hook there. Wrap your yarn, pull it through. Wrap your yarn and insert in the hook between the two double crochets. And wrap your yarn and insert your hook again and wrap your yarn and pull it through. So you should have six set of double crochets together. So this is what it looks like right now. So this is a photo of our little bandana when I arranged them when they're not finished yet. So we have um, four little triangles, half triangles at the top and then the full squares. Okay, so I have here a full squares and there's a separate tutorial for this. Please refer in the card above or in the description box below for the full tutorial. So attach your orange yarn to your circle and make a chain of two, one and two. So we will be attaching this full circle to the half 
triangle. Okay, we'll be using this corner here. So insert your hook in the corner and make a slip stitch. And then go back to your full circle and make two half double crochets in the space where you started your chain of two. And then that's one and two. And then go back to your triangle, find the space between the two half double crochets, this one here. You should easily see that and make a slip stitch. Okay, so we will be working between the three double crochets. And then go back to your full circles and make a three half double crochets. That's two and three. Okay, and then go back to your triangle between the corner and the three half double crochets. Insert your hook there and make a slip stitch. And go back to your full circle and make three double crochets. So when it says three double crochets, it means that's the corner. So that's one double crochet, two, and three. Chain one and now go back to your little triangle and insert your hook into the chain two space of the triangle. And then chain one. So you're facing the wrong side right now. And then grab your full. Oh, we will slowly attach this one too. So there's a stitch marker there. Remove that. And this is the corner I would like to start. And facing in the wrong side, insert your hook and make a slip stitch. So the three of them is attached. And make a double crochet into your full circle. Remember, you're still making the corner of this full circle. So two and three. So this is what it looks like right now. The three pieces is slowly attaching. Okay. So this full square and the full triangle is not attaching this side area because they are full. Okay. We didn't make them, we didn't join them as they go. So we have to single crochet them later. So now we will slowly add the rows of this full circle here. So as you can see, we already attached this part, this one, the full circle and the little triangle. So that's the area we're working into. Okay, we're going down to complete this circle. So that's the part they were working, that side. So we'll continue the pattern here all the way to the other side of the circle. So I have finished my little square in this circle. So this is the part that we finish. So the square, the triangle and the square, okay? And now we will add the half triangle, this one here, this part here. Okay, so slowly attaching each other as you can see. So there's full square, half triangle and a full square. And now we will attach the little half triangle in this side. Okay, before we close this full square. So now I have my two sets of half double crochets finished. Okay, so we're making the third corner. Three double crochet in the chain two space. One and two and three and then chain one. Okay, and grab your triangle, triangle, and insert your hook and make a slip stitch. Okay, and chain one. And then go back to your circle and make three double crochets to finish off your corner. So that's one and two and three. And then go back to your triangle, the space between the corner and the three half double crochets, this one here, make a slip stitch. So that's the only place we always work into, don't forget that. And then go back to your circle and make three half double crochets in the chain to space. So that's one, two, and three. And go back to your triangle, insert your hook again in between the two um, sets of half double crochets. And make a slip stitch. And go back to your circle and make a three half double crochets in the chain two space. So that's one, 
two, and three. Okay, now this is the last corner of this circle to finish it off. So insert your hook here where the corner of this little triangle and make the corner for this circle. So double crochets so three times. So that's one and two and three. Okay, chain one and insert your hook into the corner of the little triangle, the topmost, because it's half square, so it's not um, finished. Chain one and finish the corner of your circle. And insert your hook here. So you're also attaching this triangle with the rest of them. Okay? And then go back to your circle and make the three double crochets. This one here to finish off the corner of your square. So that's one and two and three. Slip stitch here, the space between the corner and the half double crochets into that little triangle. So that's how we connect it. Just always use the space between the half double crochets and the corner. Okay, so it's attached now as you can see. And this one, this part here, will just single crochet it. So that's how you connect it. Always remember to use the space between the three half double crochets and the three half double crochets and corner. That's where you will always insert your hook. There should be four triangle at the top. Okay, this little triangle here. And we will attach them like so. And we have all these circles. Okay, so I already attached my triangle here. The same way I attached the other triangle. Okay, so this part here, we will attach it with single crochet since they're both finished product or finished square with orange already. If you remember the first part of the video, so we will attach them together with a single crochet using the back loop. So grab the two pieces facing the right side each other and you're facing the wrong side. Insert your hook in the corner and attach your yarn there and we will single crochet in this part here using the back loop. So the back loop of the triangle, okay? So this part here and this part and make a single crochet using the back loop. If you've noticed only one loop, I insert my hook only in one loop. So the back loop is the ones that is outer. And continue doing that until you reach at the end of the row. So I'm here at the end, as you can see here, they're already attached and that's how it looks like in the front since we're using the back loop. And now we have to add more little triangle in this side. This one here, the ones that we made in the beginning of the video, we will attach it using the orange yarn. So that's half um, square or it's a triangle in here for, th for this side. So this is what our bandana looks like right now. And all we have to do is add three more whole squares, which is the same way of attaching everything. And a little triangle in the side. So now insert your hook to your half square or to your triangle. Insert your yarn and insert your hook here. And turn your work and make a chain of two, one in two. And then half double crochet two times in the same stitch where your chain of two is. That's one, two. So the chain two here is considered as a double crochet. And then another half double crochet in the next space. That's two and three. 
and then in the next chain space you're gonna make the corner for this half square so one double crochet two double crochet and three and then chain one and then grab the entire piece of bandana and insert your hook here in the side facing the wrong side so you're also inserting your hook into the corner of the full square okay and make a slip stitch and chain of one and go back to your half square and make it three double crochet to finish off your corner in that piece so that's one two and three and go back to your whole piece find the space between the half double crochets in the corner insert your hook and make a slip stitch and go back to your unfinished half square and make a three half double crochet in the um, space between the three three double crochets together so that's two and three so it's the same pattern and the same places where you insert your hook since where you insert your hook and make a slip stitch then go back to your half piece and make another three half double crochets in the space between the two between the three double crochets together from the previous round and then slip stitch into the space between the corner and the half double crochet in this piece slip stitch and then as you can see there's the last double crochet you have to insert your hook there so insert your hook there and make double crochet three times so that's one two and three and turn your work and insert your hook into the corner and make a slip stitch that's it we're done so we are done with these first two rows the half squares and the full squares so what we're missing is this one here the three full squares okay so we will attach the three full squares to make or to complete the bandana to make it nice triangular shape and then we will single crochet around the bandana and make the hair tie or the straps okay so continue forming your circle and turning it into a square the same pattern if you don't know the pattern please refer in the description box below or in the card above how to make it into a full squares and then slowly attaching it to your bandana and once you attach the three full squares to complete the bandana i'll meet you at the end of that steps finish the I finish attaching the little squares and form it into a big triangle and here's our bandana this is what it looks like right now it's so cute and I have here this stitch marker this is where I end up my um, stitches and do not cut it off because we will single crochet I mean we will have double crochet around the bandana and of course the straps so now chain of one and then half double crochet in every stitches available to you half double crochet in there so do the steps of half double crochet until you reach into the first corner of your bandana 
So I'm here in the corner of the bandana. Okay, so I'll just finish it off by um, making a half double crochet in this last few stitches. Okay, and then we will make the straps, which is a chain of 80. One and two, three, four, and 80. So this 80 fits perfectly for my 18 months old baby. So we will go back all the way back to our bandana so we'll just single crochet our way down so that's one and two and three four five so I'm here at the bottom of my straps so as you can see um, I just single crochet all the way down and then continue the half double crochet from here all the way into the next corner where we will again chain 80 and go back okay we will do the same in the other side in this side and then go down half double crochet all the way to the center of your bandana until you reach in where you started so hi i'm here at the end of this row i'll just have to finish it off with a slip stitch okay so i just have to book crochet around the bandana and this is it we're done we will snip off the yarn and grab some scraps of the yarn or leftover yarn and make a tassel this is how i make a tassel And then cut off the edge and tighten it and then attach your little tassel to the edge or the tip of your bandana and it has a dress if you if you want to make the dress the tutorial should be in the description box below or in the card above so thank you so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed and don't forget to tag me in my social medias i would love to see your work and i hope to see you again sometime next week goodbye